Full stop. Full stop. Full stop. Continuing. Kita had a very worried look on his face throughout this whole entire journey to Atsumu's house. Full stop. After a few minutes later, they reached Atsumu's house. Oh we reached. Thanks for walking with me. Sure thing. When Atsumu was about to go into his house Kita suddenly spoke. Hey if there is anything bothering you, just so you know everyone around you is always here to help. Oh sure. Thanks. Bye Atsumu. Bye. When Atsumu entered the house, he looked through the window looking at Kita and wondering whether he saw something. Atsumu then went back to his room. Then he suddenly broke down again. But why did I cry again in school? And worst of all Kita saw it all. What's wrong with H me? One hour later, Osamu came back. Sumu, I'm back. Atsumu had a worried look on his face. He quickly went and took a tissue to wipe his tears. Oh yeah came back so early? How it's already 5 p.m. Oops. Did it really pass that fast? Asterisk. He's acting strange straight mouthed face with one raised eyebrow. Anyways what do you want for dinner? Um I don't feel like eating. I'll probably just snack on something. Oh okay sure. I still have some energy left in the frig if you feel hungry go take it. Thanks Samu. Thanks. How are you okay? Do you have a fever? Dark. Why? Can't I be nice to my twin brother? You're weird. Oh shut yeah trap. Full stop. Full stop. Full stop. 9pm. There was someone ringing the bell. Uh, who's that it's already so late. Sumu go open the door. Okay Samu you don't have to shout you know. And Sumu then went and opened the door. Omi. Hey Sumu. How why are you here? Oh just. Because. Oh okay. Are you hungry? Nope I'm good. Okay K you can go to my room. I'm gonna grab some energy to eat. Okay. So Kusa then went to Atsumu's room. A-H-H shit how should I approach ask him about it. Just then, Atsumu came through the door. Asked what Omi? Sakusa jumped from being frightened. Sumu oh air nothing. Uh, okay K. Come on sit on the bed I promise I cleaned three times and sanitized already. Okay thank you Sumu. I love you. Did you just say you love me? Why? B but you almost never say it first. Well. Just know I love you okay. Okay Kaomi I. I love you too smiling face with hearts. Red heart. How is he smiling so much even though he went through so much to the point of cutting himself? Asterisk. I really need to ask him about it. Asterisk. Omi. Hello. Sakusa then snapped back to reality. Oh yeah sorry. Anyways wanna watch a movie? Sure. What do you wanna watch? Um. You choose? Um. Let's watch Sweet Home. Heard it was good and just came out. Okay K. They then turned on the TV in Atsumu's room and turned on Netflix to watch. Sakusa then crawled to sit between Atsumu's lap. Omi? Yes. Atsumu blushing immensely. Eh, why are you? Can't I be beside you? No I that's not what I meant. Then. He is being clingy. Asterisk. He I really he feels better I should probably ask him about it halfway in the show. Then they proceeded to watch the show. Halfway through. Sakusa suddenly spoke. Hey Tsumu. Yes Omi. Can I ask you about something? Sure Omi ask me anything. Are you okay? What do you mean? I'm fit. Atsumu voice cracked. Sakusa then turned around. Facing Atsumu. Atsu don't lie to me. You know you can talk to me. Please don't hide anything from me. Remember we promised that we would always sound out our problems to each other? Flashback. Sakusa suffered from mild depression. His parents always fought day and night. The only person he could depend on was Atsumu and his grandmother. Sakusa always kept this a secret from Atsumu as he did not want him to worry. Suddenly one day, Atsumu went into his house and saw Sakusa on the floor crying. While their parents both slammed the door to their room. Omi. Hey. Atsumu sprinted towards Sakusa. Are you okay? Sakusa lifted his head up crying. Tears dripped on the floor. Sakusa face was filled with distraught. Son. You. Hey I. What happened? My parents. TSR. 
fighting again. How come I didn't know about this? I didn't want to burden you. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault, okay? Let's get out of here. T. Oh, where? We. Sakusa still sobbing. To my house. Come, let's go. Atsumu then squatted to piggyback Sakusa. Boom. H. Come, Omi, I get on my back. I'll carry you to my house. They lived five minutes away in my story, okay? Ha ha ha, okay, continuing. But. Not but. Come on, you big baby. Sakusa then climbed onto Atsumu's back. Full stop. Full stop. Full stop. They reached Atsumu's house. He then opened the door and carried him to his room. Atsumu laid Sakusa down on his bed. Thank you. Sakusa had already calmed down slightly on his way to Atsumu's house. Atsumu then sits beside Sakusa. Now now. Atsumu pats his head. Thank you. For helping. Sakusa gets cut it off. Of course. I'm your boyfriend after all right Omi? Yes. Hey. Please do not hide anything. We hope you enjoyed this. Sorry it took so long but I really was not feeling it, so. But anyways besides that I hope you enjoyed it.